Hi all, it's uh, Pete from Android MNZ. Uh, just running the uh, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S. Thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, Samsung came out a few months ago saying that its device was not going to get Ice Cream Sandwich uh, because it couldn't, uh, as far as the uh, hardware um, specs were concerned, it wasn't uh, fast enough, the performance wasn't good enough. Um, and that really, to be honest, came down to um, touch with uh, Samsung's own interface uh, that it couldn't put this over the top um, so that would actually cause the performance um, issues and problems so this is a uh, ROM from uh, XDA um, it's Team ICS SGS and it's a stock version of Android 4.0 which is uh, to be honest, fantastic. Um, it's a really good ROM. Um, it's quite fast. You, you'll get the odd bit of lag, but nothing that I would say is a concern. It's pretty much um, good to go for uh, everyday use. Um, so we'll just jump into settings and I'll show you. Not that I have to prove that we're running Android 4.0, you can probably see that. So, Android 4.0.3 and the modems JVU. Okay, so you might be wondering what is uh, the bugs, what's the known issues for this ROM, and currently uh, there are three of them. The first one being the lock screen occasionally doesn't react to touch, and I've had this happen to me before. Um, let's just try it out now. Okay, so that worked. Um, if it does lock up on you, all you have to do is press the um, on-off button again, the screen will close, push it again, it comes back up, and then you should be able to uh, get into the phone. Um, so it's not like you have to turn the phone off, it's just you turn the screen off again, turn it back on. The other issue is uh, formatting the external um, SD card formats the internal, uh, so don't do that, I wouldn't do that on the device. And the last one is Facebook Sync Pictures, a low resolution. Um, possibly not going to be able to fix that one, they've said. So it's not a biggie. Um, if you're going to look at your Facebook pictures, I guess do it on Facebook rather than get the sync to your gallery. So um, let me just show you some of the features of Ice Cream Sandwich just so you can see them in action. So let's go into the app drawer and we'll put a few shortcuts on the device, so Gmail, we're going to add the market, we're going to put them on top of each other, create a folder. Okay, and we want to name that Google, so just touch on the unnamed part, and we're going to call that Google. Done. Okay, now you can't see any soft buttons here. Uh, there's no software buttons like there are on the Galaxy Nexus and that's because of the screen size. So does that mean that you can't have the functionality of what the soft buttons um, did? No, um, you definitely get the functionality and the middle key obviously will take you home uh, like on any um, sort of uh, SGS ROM and if you hold down on it that used to bring up your sort of multitasking and it does, whoop, it does again. So you can scroll through exactly like Ice Cream Sandwich and say if we want to close something, I'll close the calendar, we'll swipe that to the right. Gone. Phone, swipe it to the right. People, swipe to the right, and that's done. The back button is obviously still the back button, and the menu button still brings up your menu system settings. So um, it's, a, it's a really good ROM, um, they're obviously still making improvements to it, um, but as far as everyday use goes, this, this ROM's good to go. I'm going to put the uh, link to it in um, the description, the details of this uh, video, and uh, make sure obviously your device is uh, rooted, and also ensure that you follow the instructions to the T. I'd suggest um, you wipe the data in factory reset and clockwork mod, um, wipe the cache or the cache depending on how you want to say it and wipe the Delvic uh, cache in advanced as well. Alright guys hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoy running Android 4.0 on your SGS1.